at his job, on his desk, playing the Quran, while others be on the phone. So, yep, if, especially if it is like an open, open, open booth or open area, right? Likewise, one is not to be playing the Quran Why? while people are bargaining, buying and selling and the likes of this. So, yep. But rather, alhamdulillah, when the Quran is being, is being recited, when the Quran is being recited, then alhamdulillah, these must be taken place in order to have the third issue that is established. Number one is what? Is to listen. Number two is? So you can have what? The mercy of Allah. All right? Number one, when the Quran been recited, we listen. we listen. Number two, so we can have number three, which is the mercy of Allah. So we got one, two, three, right? But in order for get to three, to three, you gotta must establish one and two, right? So the prerequisite of three is to establish one and two. If one doesn't do one and two, they are what? If one, huh? If 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 the Quran is being played. Or being recited and one is talking over the Quran. What is that? It's a sin. Because the order, it, it is an order here. It is an order here. There's an order that says that when the Quran is being recited, listen and remain quiet. So if one is not doing so, but he is doing the opposite, then he is sinful. Because he has abandoned a, a command. Right, if, if, if people are around buying and selling, or you yourself, you, 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 you bargaining and the likes of this, then it is not to be done. It is not to be done, whether it is a, a desk or a shop or a mechanic shop or body shop, whatever shop it is, right? Whatever shop it is, barakallahu <laughs> Huh? No, I'm not saying it's not, I'm saying for while people are talking. And of course, what do people do in the market? Talk. First of all, if his intent, his intent to listen to the Quran, the shop or his house or in a car, and himself the intention to listen to the Quran, and he remains silent, he was listen, he remains silent, if somebody comes to the house with a bargain, that cannot take the ruling for the, because he was I'm getting a house, sit down and listen to the Quran. Right. Sit down and listen and be quiet, silent. Okay. So I can feel the mercy of Allah. Okay. If somebody has walking, some arrows, they take chick jugging, so they come and the, when the intention was there, where it, I was there before they started talking. Right. In that case, you, in that case, you turn the, the Quran, you turn the radio off. You turn the radio off because your intention was right, your action was right, but now other people they came and they are in violation of the verse. So you're gonna help them not to be sinful. If you can tell them, hey be quiet, I mean in your house it's possible you say, hey everybody be quiet, I'm listening to the Quran. But you can't say that at the market. In your car you can say that all day. You can say, hey Aisha be quiet, or Ibrahim be quiet. But if you have let's say you up there, alhamdulillah listen to the Quran on your own but people are around you, around you, right? They are very near to you, and they are talking over the Quran. Then, barakallahu feekum, from being cautious, is that you turn the Quran off. You turn the, I would say, the, not the Quran, but you turn the radio or whatever you're playing with off, right? And this is to be cautious for you and to help them not to be sinful, right? And then first and foremost, to educate them first. You know, perhaps they don't know. You tell them, Akhi, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say in Surah Al-A'raf, when the Quran is being recited, that we have to be what? We have to be listening, silent, so we can have his mercy. And alhamdulillah, another thing is like, playing the Quran, or, you know, it's not, it's not for every single place also. Because why do you play the Quran? So you can contemplate. So you can, you can reflect upon it. But if there is a big old brouhaha on the side, right? A lot of people talking here left and right. 
do you really, can you really concentrate upon that situation? Alhamdulillah, on that, what you do is get you like an earpiece. It's, 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 it's better. Get you like an earpiece. So you won't bother nobody. You have your Quran, alhamdulillah, you follow, you, you follow it. Get your earpiece, and you will be, inshallah, ta'ala, very... You won't harm nobody, especially these kinds where it's wireless or whatnot, where you can, alhamdulillah, listen to your thing, and nobody bother you, and you don't bother nobody. So you... Now, the Quran, alhamdulillah, also it has... It has it is not every place that a person opens the Quran. You find some individual open the Quran and read, right? But he himself, he's reading, but he is putting his two cents in the conversation of others. Sure. No, not even sure, but he's putting his two cents. Let's say uh, him there talking, and I'm reading the Quran. Yeah, you're right, Akhi. The brother, he, he was not supposed to do that, and I'm continuing to reading. That's defeating the purpose of the recitation. Because recitation, the person has to barakallah if he can contemplate upon reciting. And he has to also contemplate upon listening to it. Alhamdulillah. You know. May Allah Ta'ala make it easy upon all of us. Amen. Well, it's a good concern. Now, so he mentioned Hafizahullah. He says, so if the, uh, the ma'mu, meaning the one that pray behind the imam, if he was busy reciting, then what is the point of the imam reciting loud? What is the point of Imam reciting loud? He say, he say, ولا تأمن, he say, ولأن التأمين للمأموم على قراءة الإمام, he say, يتنزل منزلة قراءتها, قراءتها. He say, because the saying of the Amin, شوف, because of the saying of the Amin for the Ma'moom. When the Imam say, ولا الضالين, and the ma'moom say amin. He say the ta'min of the ma'moom, the saying of amin of the ma'moom, it is a, it take the place of the recitation of the ma'moom. Meaning when the ma'moom say amin, it is as if he was reciting. Right? It is as if he was reciting. Huh? How that does it? Where he got that from? It's, it's coming right here. So the imam, the ma'mum say, well, uh, the imam say, well, and the ma'mum say, amin. Now that statement of the amin of the ma'mum is also taking the position of the, the the recitation of the imam. It is as if he was the one reciting. When he say amin. That statement of Amin is that he was also reciting, right? Just like the Imam was reciting. He say, "فَقَدْ قَالَ تَعَالَى لِمُوسَى وَهَارُونَ." And this is here. Listen to this. He say, "Indeed, Allah," he said to Musa and Harun. Indeed, Allah, he said to Musa and Harun, "قَدْ أُجِبْتَ دَعْوَتُكُمَا قَدْ أُجِبْتَ." Da'watukuma that indeed I have accepted your supplications. I have accepted your supplications, meaning Harun and Musa and Harun. Right? Indeed, I have accepted your supplications, meaning the supplication of ha Musa and Harun. But here is the catch. There was only one making the supplication. The other one said, Amin. So it is as if, Shuf Allah, he say, that indeed I have accepted both of your supplications. But there was only one making the supplication. The other one, he was saying, Amin. Musa was the only one saying the supplication. And Harun, he say, Amin. But when Allah Ta'ala, he was telling them, he accepted their supplications, it was dual, he say, that I have accepted your two supplications. Was it two or was it one? It was only one. But the other one say, Amin. So it is as if Harun also made the same supplications, even though all he said was Amin. So likewise, the person that prayed behind the Imam, while a he say Amin. When he say Amin, 
It is as if he was residing like the Imam. وَقَدْ دَعَى مُوسَى عَلَيْهِ السَّلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامُ And Musa, he supplicated to Allah. He said, رَبَّنَا إِنَّكَ آتَيْتَ فِرْعَوْنَ وَمَلَئِهِ زِينَةً وَأَمْوَالًا فِي الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا Musa, عَلَيْهِ السَّلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامُ He said, O Rabbana, O our Lord, Indeed, you have given Fir'aun وَمَلَئِهِ in his establishment. You have given Fir'aun and his establishment. You have given them wealth. You have given, given them splendor in this worldly life. So this is what Musa alayhi salatu wa salam said. وَأَمَّنَ هَارُونَ And Harun he say, Ameen. Did Harun say this statement? لا. But all he did was what? وَأَمَّنَ هَارُونَ عَلَى دُعَائِهِ Harun he said, Ameen. To the supplication of Musa alayhi salatu wasalam. So therefore, the statement of Harun saying Amin has raised, has raised, the statement of Amin has raised him to be making the dua himself. Has raised him to be making the dua himself. فَقَالَ تَعَلَىٰ And Allah, he mentioned to both of them, قَدْ أُوْجِبْتَ دَعْوَتَكُمَا That I indeed have accepted both of your supplication. فَدَلَّ عَلَىٰ أَنَّ مَنْ أَمَّنَ عَلَىٰ دُعَائِ فَكَأَنَّمَا قَالَهُ And this is a proof that the one that say, Ameen upon a supplication, he is just like the one that was making the supplication. Let's say Barakallah fikum during the uh, in Ramadan when the Imam was making the Qunutul Witr and he's making the supplications. When we say Ameen, Allahumma hdina fi man hadayt wa afina fi man afayt wa tawallana fi ma fi ma tawallayt ila akhir. That when we say Ameen, it is as if we are saying the dua. So when we say the Ameen, it is as if we are saying the supplications. When we say, the Imam say, Ameen, it is as if we were reciting that Fatiha. <coughs> so he mentioned, uh -huh, say. if we don't say, it's like we're not part of it. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. It's like um, the Juma when in, in the Khatib make a dua, you can say Amin. But that is to be said silently. Because from the Sunnah, the Messenger, he, said, some he's, uh, he used to make dua after the khutbah. But there was no narration to show that the companions, they used to say Amin out loud or to raise their hands like this. When you find people... They do like this. They be raising their hands when the Imam make the dua. Or they will be saying, Ameen, Ameen, Ameen. But if, if it is done, then alhamdulillah, it is for the khatib to rectify those things. To point out that this is not to be done. But rather the person will say, Ameen to himself. Just like when the, the name of the Prophet ﷺ is mentioned during the khutbah, right? Then you, alhamdulillah, have to what? To say it to yourself. To say it to yourself. Maybe make your lips move or say it to yourself. But not to say it, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. No. But rather you say it to yourself. And alhamdulillah, you will have the reward of the one that prayed over the messenger, alayhi salatu wa salam. And Allah ta'ala, whoever prayed upon the messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, one time. Sallallahu alayhi ashara marat. That Allah will pray over him ten times. Whoever pray upon the Messenger والسلام, ten times, Allah Ta'ala will pray over him a hundred times. So it is it is a good bargain. It is a good uh tra huh? trail. It is a good trail over, yes. To be making trade yeah. It is a good trade off. Yeah, trade off. Trade off to 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 be 
sending peace and blessing upon the messengers.